flipping negative. Yes, the what? The flipping negative. What am I talking about? You're looking at this, and you're probably in a mm, rational expression scenario. And then what happens? You need to reverse the order of those. And you're like, oh no! What am I gonna do? You can use the flipping negative. The what? Just do this, people. Just do this. Pull the minus out, put parentheses, and switch them. Switch them. I say, I say, I say, see, that's the flipping negative. Now, just do that. Get comfortable with it. And, um, let me show you what's really going on and why it really works. So I'm over here. Yeah. If I'm looking at that guy, oh boy, and I had 5 minus x, well, I could use my commutative property. Now, you know what? Let's not do that there, see? Let's go right down here. Minus x minus 5. My claim is that this is the same as that one. Well, what can we do? We can distribute 10. It goes, it goes, it goes. Ooh, ooh. Changes the signs of both of those in there. So that's minus. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. X plus 5. Because minus and minus make moss, and it changes both of those signs. Now I can use my commutative property of multi addition and switch their orders. So then, in short orders, that's 5 minus x, just like that. I like that. Oh, they are the same. And then what? That's just about all I gotta say about that. Wait, one more thing. If I was up here, and I had minus x plus 20, now, some books ask you to factor out a negative, so let's just factor out a negative. They don't tell you why. You're employing the flipping negative over there. Sure. So then you factor out the negative, and it changes both the signs on the inside. So this is x minus 20, just like that. I like that. Oh, why? Because if we distribute back in, we get the original. And it is way too freaking hot to be doing math in California on a 108 degree day. Yeah. Boxing, flipping negative. Oh,